going to be learning how to sort objects. And we're going to learn how to sort them by shape, color, and size. And at the end, I'll show you how programmers sort things. Well, I'm sure you've noticed these three little cups that I have here. They're actually filled with stuff. There's a blue cup, an orange cup, and a red cup. One, two, three. Let's find out what's inside. Oh man! Bears! Yeah, they're these cute little plastic bears. Well, sometimes when you sort things, you have to count. And I love to sing along when I count. So join in if you know this song and sing with me, okay? It goes, one little, two little, three little bears, four little, five little, six little bears, seven little, eight little, nine little bears, ten little blue little bears. Okay, let's do the orange ones now. One little, two little, three little bears, four little, five little, six little bears, seven little, eight little, nine little bears, ten little orange little bears. Okay, last but not least, the red bears. One little, two little, three little bears, four little, five little, six little bears, seven little, eight little, nine little bears, ten little red little bears. All right, now that we've counted our objects, let's sort them. I'm gonna make a big mess, you ready? One, Two, three. Oh my gosh! Oh man! Bears everywhere! Woo! Okay, our bears are in disarray! They're all over the place! It's so crazy! Let's put them in their cups. The red bears in the red cups, the orange bears in the orange cup, and the blue bears in the blue cup. Ready? Here's the blue bear. Here's a red bear, red, oh, orange bear, blue, red, just kidding, orange. Oh. What's this one? Orange. What's this one? Yeah, it's red. Blue. What's this one? Also blue. Yep. Ready? Orange. Red, red, look what we have left. We have three left. One, two, three. What's this one? Blue, and this one. Red, and this one. Blue. All right, let's put them in their cups. Great job, everyone. Very proud of you. Hey, kids. Now that we've sorted our objects by color with the bears, we're going to sort by shapes. As you can see, I've got, again, three objects in front of me. I have a, a light blue bowl, a pink bowl, and a blue bowl. One, two, three. Well, some of my favorite food happens to be inside these bowls. Let's pour them out and see. It's cereal. Oh, man. So what do we got here? We have cereal that's in the shape of a circle. We have cereal that's in the shape of a hexagon. And we have cereal that's in the shape of a square or a rectangle. But we're gonna go ahead and call them squares. These are very close to being rectangles, but we're gonna call them squares. So, Let's count again how many objects were in bowl number one. That would be one, two, three, 
four circles, five circles, six circles, seven circles. So we're sorting seven circles of cereal in the light blue bowl. Next, we have one of my favorite shapes, a hexagon. Isn't it fun to say hexagon? Hexagon, it's almost like you're sneezing. A hexagon, excuse me. Well, a hexagon has six sides. Six, let's count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. Isn't that cool? Okay, now that we've counted the sides on our hexagon, let's count how many hexagon pieces there are. There's one hexagon, two hexagon, three hexagon, four hexagons, five hexagons, six hexagon pieces in the pink bowl. Okay, last we have the squares. Square cereal, and we know that it's a square because it has four sides. So one, two, three, four, right? So again, this could also be a rectangle because the sides on the top and the bottom, two sides are a little bit longer than the other two sides. Anyhow, we're gonna call them squares. We have one square cereal, two square, three squares in the blue bowl. Okay guys, that was really fun sorting by shapes. So we'll see you on the next clip where we sort by size. All right, kids. Well, we're in a familiar place, I'm sure you know. It's the kitchen. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite places to be. Of course, that's where all the food is. <laughs> it's where your mom and dad and your caretakers make you all that yummy food you eat every single day. And I'm sure you recognize some of these utensils here that they, they, do to, they use to make that yummy food, right? Well, since we've already sorted by our, our colors and our shapes, we're gonna sort by size and identity. Okay, here we go. We've got pots and pans, and we're gonna figure out which is which. So a pot usually holds some type of liquid, like water and you can boil it, or soup, like alphabet soup. You ever had alphabet soup? Ugh, oh, so yummy. Well, this is definitely a pot, it's really Big! Whoa, I can echo! Whoa! Yeah, it's big and round. All right. So this is a pot. And this is definitely also a pot. Look how round it is and how much liquid it could hold. So we've got two pots here. And we've got a pan. And you can tell this is a pan because of how how shallow it is, and how it wouldn't be able to hold very much liquid, right? And it's flat, it's more flat. So that's a, that's a pan. And this, well this is also a pan, it's like a baby pan here. So we've got one pot, two pots, two pots and one pan, two pans. Two pots and two pans. What about this? Yeah, that's a pot for sure. It looks just like this one here. It's a baby pot. So we have one, two, three pots, and one, two, three pans. Is that a pan? Peekaboo! Yeah, that's a pan, for sure. Okay. Now, if you haven't tried this before, you should do it now. to do but you don't want to do it for too long because mommy and daddy will get mad at me <laughs> okay so now that we've identified our pots and our pans let's sort them by size 
Okay, let's do the smallest to largest. So let's do our pans first since they're already in front of us. Which pan do you think is the biggest pan out of these three? I definitely think this is the biggest pan, right? Yeah, that's the largest pan. So we'll put the largest pan to the left here, to the left of me. And the next biggest pan is which out of these two? Yeah, this one. That's the second biggest pan. And this is the baby pan. So we've got a small pan, a medium pan, and a large pan. Okay, good job, everybody. Let's put the pans aside. Let's do the pops for now. Next. All right, pots. Now, which pot do you think is the largest? Like this one, right? Yeah, the one in the middle. I can put my head in here. It's so big. Put this pot here. Do you think this pot is bigger than this pot? No, because look, this pot could even fit in this pot, right? Yeah. So we're going to put this next to the largest pot because it's the second largest pot. And this will go at the end. It's the smallest pot. So again, we have small, medium, and large. And now we've sorted by size. Well, thanks for joining me in the kitchen. Make sure that you get to your kitchen and sort out some pot and pans. And Next time you're able to, make a little drum circle. Okay, now that we've sorted by colors, shapes, size, and identity, I'm gonna show you how programmers sort things. Programmers sometimes use an algorithm called bubble sort. Now, I know some software engineers are definitely gonna say it's inefficient, which it is, but for kids, it's just right. Okay. So how bubble sort works is we want the largest blocks on the left side, on my left side, and the smallest blocks on my right side. So let's start off. We're going to compare these two blocks. A programmer would write some code and would compare this block to this block. Is this block bigger than this block? Yes. Is it bigger than this block? Yes. Is it bigger than this block? No. Okay, we'll stop there. Let's start again. The program will run again. Is this bit block bigger than this block? No. We don't need to move anything. Is this block bigger than this block? No. We don't need to move anything. Is it bigger than this block? No. We don't need to move anything. But is this block bigger than this block? Yes. So, since this block is the largest block, and we want it on the left side. These two are going to switch after being compared to each other. So now we have the largest blocks on my left side and the smallest blocks on the right. Now let's go through it one more time just to make sure. Is this block bigger than this block? No. Is this block bigger than this block? No. Is this block than the, bigger than this block? What do you think? No. <laughs> Is this block bigger than this block? No! Our program works! Great job, everybody. I'm very proud of you. See you next time. Well, thank you for joining me today and learning how to sort objects. It was really fun. Just a recap, we sorted them by color with the bears. We sorted them by shapes with the cereal. We sorted them by size and identity with the pots and the pans. And we sorted like programmers do with the bubble sort algorithm. All right, make sure that you practice at home with your parents because sorting is really important. It helps us compare objects. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching my show, kids. Grown-ups. Please click the subscribe button for more videos and more fun with Miss Millie. Bye-bye.